Hey everyone, this is AVJV Gaming bringing you episode number 13 of this trading technique series. And as you can see up on screen, I want to get into this episode by going and using the bronze pack method. And in this episode, we're going to focus ourselves in on the 400 coin bronze pack method because there's been a lot of theories saying that it's uh, maybe it's a very good method for making coins when you're low on coins. So that's what we're going to test out in this episode. We start with 4,000 coins and boom, straight away in the first pack, we have ourselves a very nice deal, which is a squad fitness card. I think that will fetch around about 1,000 coins. So off our 400 coin investment, we're already making around about, say, 600 coins profit. And that's not including the uh, fitness and contract. So guys, you know, I've probably not uploaded in some time. I think it's been two weeks from today, but we're going to be going back to the double uh, uploads, I think, for a couple days, and then I'll get into those single uploads, and then we'll do a new series after the trade and play to Liverpool is done. But, as you can see up on screen, um, you can see we're opening these bronze packs, and we're starting with 4,000 coins. I was going to go and open 10, but we'll see how it goes. If it goes not too badly, then we might go for the full 10. Otherwise, I think I might just stick to 5 and try a 2k investment, see what that brings back. And uh, yeah, all this stuff's going to be done over one hour. So I don't want to spend too long because that way we test a method at its best. Now, going into this third pack of the episode, we do pull, I think it's a Scottish player over there. Scottish right mid over there, Witherspoon. And uh, over there, I think this guy could fetch something. He's a... 81 pace, not too bad off a player, and you also got to check the leagues. On some of these normal bronze players, like that one is from the League 2, um, you can find a player that could go for possibly even a couple hundred coins, and that can make you the difference back in your packs. And over there, you can see I'm quick selling some stuff, but uh, that's purely because I feel it's not going to sell, and I don't want to spend too long on it. Now, into that fourth pack, I believe it is, we got ourselves a Mexican center defense in mid. We got a lot of fitness cards. In terms of fitness cards, for those of you who are not too sure what to do with them, I always say store them in your club. Healing cards as well. I think I do a mistake here and discard the healing card. But uh, always send... Oh, no, we do send it to the transfer list. But yeah, do send all the co uh, consumables to your club. And kits and badges, do check them twice. Because some do go for a little bit more than others. Now, with this method, you guys are going to see... I think I'm going to try getting another trading technique out for you guys, possibly tomorrow. Look at that pack. It's an absolute great pack over there. We got ourselves Texera from Liverpool. Um, we got ourselves Rangers Badge, a um, Squad Fitness, so making some more coins on that pack. Got a player from the um, Dutch League, and just double-checking on that player as well. And over here, it's going to send... I think we're going to send all these items to the transfer list, and... Double check the kits. I have to stress that always. Do check the kits because you never know when you find yourself a good deal. I think I quick sold those over there, but uh, no, we did send them to the club. So I was going to open another pack. I said we've done five. We're at 2,000 coins approximately. And let's see what we do once we sell all these items. So firstly, we'll check out the squad fitnesses. Now, the variations in fitness and consumables of uh, like contracts, they can vary in price. If people are not opening that many packs in the market, you can actually see their prices go up. So during team of the season, their prices probably will go down. This is going to be an awesome trading technique for those of you guys when you see the bronze and silver team of the season cards because you can actually pack yourself a team of the season in these bronze packs. So do keep an eye on that. And if you, even if you spend only 2,000 coins, um, let me know what you guys get in this method. So if you guys do try this out, let me know. Leave it down below in the comment section or you know hit me up on Twitter. It's at AVJVGaming. Let me know exactly what you guys got in your packs and uh, how the method went out for you. Now, consumables, I'm just going to list up all these consumables for 150, 200 by now, as there was no you know, mega spike in the market at that point in time. And if we sell even one or two of them, we're making 400 coins, which covers the cost of one pack. So that's not too bad over there. We get Peter's Bros badge, and I think now <laughs> we're already on 3,800 coins. That means I think the two fitness cards did sell. So not looking too bad with this method so far. We've already made, I think, a little bit of our money back. We need to make another 200 coins more, and uh, we've covered the method quite nicely. And for some reason, not able to find the badge over there, but we do find it. Gonna search up, and it's going for 200s on buy nows. So yeah, both squad fitnesses have sold on, and that's very quick. Straight away over there, you can see I've pretty much made a majority of my profit back, and uh, we're still trying to break even. I think at this point, so we're trying to go for it and see what we can get. But nonetheless, you guys always check the kits because some kits have got good gradients to them, and people want these kits that go from one color to another, or maybe kits which have a pattern involved so those will be quite good now I do know a lot of you guys have asked me about team of the season 
whilst I took my two-week break, but uh, I'll definitely say to you guys I'll cover Team of the Season probably midweek because at the minute Easter's around the, just pretty much tomorrow and uh, it's a very busy time. Now with that Texera over there, I think what we'll do is we'll list up all these players for 200 coins on a buy now. And I'm not too sure. Some of the players like that one over there from, I think it's PSV, double check their prices purely because they can go for a lot more. Bronze players in the main leagues, like the Barclays Premier League, the Bundesliga, the Dutch leagues, the, um, I think it's the Serie A, League One, they can go for considerably more. And when you get the rare ones, always check their price because you can make probably 400 coins. On some bronze players, you can make a couple thousand. So there is a mega difference involved. Now that done, I think we're going to list them for 200. Um... With a couple of these other players, I think I'll just list them all for 200 over here and see if we can sell them on. I think the only player we're going to check over here out of these three at the minute is going to be Texera. Because I did use him in my uh, trade and play to Liverpool series. <coughs> Sorry guys, I'm losing my voice at the minute. But we're going to search him on the market and see what he's going for currently because that way we can tell. And I think there was one over there with the current bid of 400 coins. Wow. But there's a couple others with 300 coins on the open bid. So we're going to list ours for 250, see if that sells. We're going to search up Witherspoon, and then we're going to think we're going to list up the other guy as well. So Witherspoon, we're going to check his price. He's going for 850 cheapest on the market in terms of buy nows. I think we're going to list ours up for around about 600 coins. Yeah, that sounds about good. And with the final player over here, we're going to go and quickly just check what he's going for. And... Cheapest on the market is 200 coins. That was listed up five minutes ago. Ouch. But you could buy that and sell it on. I think what I'll do is I'll just list mine up for 500 coins. After that one expires, then uh, we'll see if ours does sell. And then we do leave that for the hour. Our Mexican player didn't sell, but we sold Witherspoon. And we sold Texera, the squad fitnesses, and a couple fitness cards. And that means we're on 5,000 coins. So we made 1,000 coins profit from this method, which I don't think is too bad. So let me know, guys, what do you get from this method and also how much profit you made. And also, you guys can be able, you'll be able to sell your stuff for more time than I have. But uh, yeah, let me know how it goes. And also, I'll let you guys know about Team of the Season. I think it's going to be midweek this week. And uh, I'll probably do a few pack openings for that for you guys. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that. By all means, please drop it a like if you have enjoyed this trading technique. By all means, subscribe if you're new. And we'll get back to some daily uploads. So this has been AVJV Gaming. And I'll catch you all for the next episode.